So I always want to do a cooking show. And I saw the other day how to uh, crack an egg, boil an egg, and then crack it through this process in which the shell comes off easy. And of course, I started thinking spiritual. So I want to show you what I learned online of how to pull the skin off of an egg easy. Well, it starts with a pot. And of course, got to have the egg. And so in order to boil the egg, you first need some water, right? So got some water over here. I actually have you in my little kitchen. So put enough water. It's important to put enough water so that the egg is submerged. I promise you there's a word in here for you. Put the water, the egg, as it is in its raw state, uncooked. Put it in the water. I bought recently this little timer. And on this little timer, you put the timer, put the little fake egg in here, and it'll tell you when it's hard boiled, medium, or soft. You put that right in the pot, in the bottom of the pot. And then, of course, you gotta put the fire right there up under the egg, and then you gotta leave it there. So I'll be back, but I need you to know something about life. It's just like that, there's sometimes you're gonna be in the fire, but God knows how long to leave you in it. I'll be right back when this is cooking. On, be right back. So, as you can see, the egg is boiling. And the egg must stay in the water until it is fully developed. God is never going to put you in anything or take you out of anything until you fully develop. So, this thing I saw on the internet about how to crack the egg and peel it, I want to show you because it talked about how to peel it without damaging it. So number one, when the egg is ready, it comes off of the fire. And that's important. It is removed from the fire when it's ready. And then it's cooled. It's put into water if you want it cooled. I mean, you can do the same thing without uh, cooling it, but it's cooled down. And now I'm going to show you what they said. Let's see, I need a glass. Glass. And so when it is ready, the egg is taken from the water, just as it was taken from the fire. And then something odd. Before it's peeled, it gets cracked a little bit all the way around. And then it seems as if when you thought it was over, when you thought the fire was over, it's just not over. Because there's some times in life that you can be in the fire and go right from the fire into a storm. And so it's not over. Oftentimes when we want it to be over, after we've been through the fire, after we've been in the heat, after we've been cracked, I mean, isn't it enough that you've been in the heat and been cracked? But my friend, I want to show you the next part. Because what they show you is to put your hand over the jar with the water. This represents your storm. You've already been gone through it. And then you shake it. You shake it. And you shake it. And you shake it. And you keep shaking it. Then you remove it from the storm because storms don't last always. And what still is broken and what has been in the fire should, according to what I saw, the skin, that hard skin, should remove easier. Look at that. It should come off without any problem and without damaging the egg. You know, sometimes when you go to peel an egg, it's all torn up. But in this method of the fire and then the storm of the water and the shaking, why didn't the egg break up? Well, number one, I had to keep my hand right there above the storm. My friend, I want you to know that no matter what storm you're in, when you're a believer, God keeps his hand right there near you. You can be going through ups and downs and downs and ups, but part of that storm is to make sure that when you're ready, everything that you don't need in the next season is taken off of you. And just like the skin of that egg, 
It ensures that what falls off of you does not hurt you. There were some things in your season when you were going through a storm that you needed that you don't need now. There were some people that you don't need now. There are some situations that you just don't need now. And what God is not going to allow, he's not going to allow it to break you and to mess you up, but he wants you to come out of it smooth. So no matter what storm you're going through, no matter how much the heat is, I've come to tell you, if you believe in God, you'll come out even better. Because see this egg, if it had been cracked before it was cooked, would just be a mess. And the reason you're not going to be a mess is because when you learn how to stay in the fire and trust God, you don't fall apart when you get cracked. First Peter one and six says, so be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead. Even though you have to endure many trials for a little while, because God knows when to pull you out. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It will be, it, it is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. So I say to you, all my friends, if you've been in the fire, don't worry, God is not going to leave you there. And even after the fire, if it feels like you're going through the storm, don't worry, because his hand is right there. When you get done, a lot of things are going to fall off that you don't need anymore. Be blessed.